What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Blue. I'm back with another short video. Today is March 19th. And um if anyone shops at Kroger, they know that. Kroger has oh, I was supposed to do my camera like this. Um they know that Kroger has deals um every week like um they have deals that are really good prices once a week so this past week they had um the toll house chocolate morsels for 99 cents so i was like you know of course people know folks who love to spend money <laughs> I was like, okay, let me get them. I guess I might do some cookies or something one day. So, my girl Ashley um, from My Full Figured Life did some chocolate chip cookies and she just posted them. So, I was like, what? Bet. I'm going to do some. So, yes, she was so right. <laughs> First of all, she was right about the butter and... This vanilla bean paste. It smell like Thanksgiving up in here. Like the nutty smell is crazy. Um, they're in the oven right now. I'm gonna take them out when they're done. But the smell, y'all. Oh my god, this smell is unbearable. But there they go. I don't want to open the oven door because I don't want them to fall. Um, but they should be done shortly. They've been in there now, I'm going to say like five minutes. So, I'm going to let them go like another seven. Another seven minutes. Set my timer. Seven minutes. Um, so, yes. Um, I took her advice and I melted that butter, y'all. So, if y'all don't know... Ashley, she does my full figure life. She um, recommended that we use this butter. So I went and got some from Walmart. It was very cheap, surprisingly. It was very cheap. And then, like I said, instead of using the pure vanilla that we always use, I use this one. And I also use this one. So I had bought both of them. Because I wasn't for sure if I was going to find a vanilla bean paste. But if anybody looking for it um, in Walmart, they have it on the aisle where the birthday stuff is. So it's not even on the kitchen side or the um, cooking side. Like where the food and stuff is. It's all the way on the other side of the store in the baking aisle. And it was like $6. So this, let me see, get some light. That's it right there. Vanilla bean paste. It was like $6. Oh my God. <laughs> so my baby tasted the batter. And he was like, mmm. And I was like, ugh. Don't do that no more. But here is the batter. Um, I have some left. Oh, it smells so good. So once those come out the oven, y'all, I'm going to get back on here. And let y'all know how it tastes. What's poppin' y'all? So, I'm back. This is the second part of my video. Um, doing the cookie review. I got my jacket on because me and Dallas did a lap. So, Dallas is gonna tell y'all how the cookies We're back. taste. Dallas, how do the cookies taste? Good. Let me see. Show it to the camera. Show the camera mm. the cookie. See that, y'all? So, that was my attempt at um, my full figure life, Ashley. Um, her recipe. I didn't really like the nutty taste, but once I tasted the second batch, they were a little softer. And they actually gave me snickerdoodle vibes for some reason. Like, I haven't really been eating a lot of sugar um, ever since, like, I lost 
all that weight or whatever. So I had to get other people's opinions. And like I said, everybody said they were good, but when I tasted it the second time, it gave me snickerdoodle vibes. So I don't know. It was good, but I probably wouldn't try that vanilla bean paste again, nor that um that um butter. I probably stick to the unsalted butter and add salt so um like to the recipe because you don't know how much salt so they really use in the other cookie i mean in the other butter so um from now on with my chocolate chip cookies i'm gonna definitely stick to unsalted and stick to the original vanilla extract but again it was good i got good reviews on them so shout out to my girl for um dropping that video make sure y'all subscribe to my channel make sure y'all drop a like on this video and all the rest of them Peace.